So surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. These I'm in class. Everything's cool. Away. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class she laughing at me now. Tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. I can't believe I still have this you pencil case. I should upgrade Seriously, to the 21st no. century. I could frame any one of but you in a I like it old school. And capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. The daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces. My little camera bag is battered but still kicking. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure, and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Victoria, looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. Obviously, Blackwell spent bank on the computers here. That printer is amazing. I'd love to see how it reproduces my pictures. I could pump out a whole gallery. Damn, they have carbon fiber tripods here. The ball head even has a pan lock. God, even her school books are gift wrapped. Of course, Victoria has. I should have known. She'll have better equipment than Blackwell. This is just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel 
close for Hi, Kate. To process, but oh. I also want everybody Hi, Max. to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I had my Kate, I, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. Let's talk later, Max. I like this panoramic view of Blackwell. Everything looks so green and serene. This is definitely where cameras go to heaven. Oh man, they... So cool to see Mr. Jefferson's actual published pictures. Gives me hope. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The decisive moment by... Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really... Ex Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Even in pictures, the forest around here always... You can never escape the lighthouse here. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. Just you always Welcome to the cute. real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture to thank you. Because Max wants everybody to see how cool she is. He plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a giant camera. There's Taylor, always waiting for Victoria. I think that's Courtney. She's such a slave to Taylor and Victoria. Ah, the science room. Here's the portal to Warren's brain. These missing persons posters are popping up everywhere. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Alyssa is always texting, but she doesn't hang out. Evan doesn't say much to me, but his photos are very cool. I love that picture of mom and dad. Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous, as usual. No one can tell where your heart is. 
American girls. Yes, this cluster must stop always dead in their tracks. Stella is always deep in her notes. She didn't come to Blackwell. That's Dana talking to me. Dana is on my floor too. She's such an archetypal, gorgeous cheerleader. They must make them in a factory. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. Poor Daniel, he's so nice. I wish I could... I hate bully jockstraps like Logan. And he's a Vortex Club member. I wish October would last forever. It looks like she's been gone for months. They should just call it a sugar machine. That would be awesome if you put money in there and a bag of... Don't need a PC, missed the Poetry Jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. That's so messed up. I should... Good thing I left my AK at home. There's Hayden, another Vortex Club bro. There's Hayden another Vortex Club bro, but he's actually not an ass. That's when I fly. Nerd alert, this poster has Warren written. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Figures Juliet will be dating Zachary. Jo God, Samuel is such a weirdo, but I kind of like that about him. I wonder what actually happened to her. Black Wolf sure takes its swimming seriously. But look at these trophies. Gotta give it up for those big foots. They do sp God, Samuel is such a weirdo. But I kinda like... You can really learn a lot about a school by the weird shit posted on the boards. He's cute. I like skater boys. Too bad. The big foots stomp. I should develop some school. Yay, Halloween, my favorite time of year. There's the lighthouse again. Miss Grant is a great science teacher. Principal doesn't come out of his office much. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to I need to go splash some water on my face and freshen up first. You, American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the Empty, world cut. The Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. Now, who would bother to write that crap? The last time I got a flu shot, I got the flu. Fuck you. I'm good to flow, thanks. This poster must drive people to have sex. I remember when somebody punked the alarm last month. At least I got out of science class for that quiz. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? Just relax, stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. Whoa, where did that butterfly come from? 
It doesn't look like any kind I've ever seen before. The blue wings are practically glowing. I, I can almost feel the air moving around me. The butterfly feels almost like a spirit. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I've got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went... To them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do! I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. As he likely was. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit. Can you give me an example of a Damn, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller? Diane, Can I actually Arvis? reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? I did it. Can you give me I an actually example did of a photographer it. who perfectly captured I'm a the human, human time machine. Black and white? Anybody? Max, don't freak out. Anybody? Not yet. Bueller? Diane Arbus. Keep it together, Max. Rest. 
There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. She saw... Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl Sorry, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me Little after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max Still is- Still the so same awake. stupid picture. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have What are you waiting for? Go. Even if you're submitting your photo for Nice answer, Max. Are you okay? You look photo, pale. So. Kate, um did we talk at all today? This is the first time. What's wrong? I'm sorry, I'm just tripping. Too much stress. I know the feeling. And I want to represent Blackwell Academy. I wish we didn't. I do have to go, but we can talk later if you want. I'll see how I feel. Thanks, Max. It's just a bump on a bigger road. I don't want anybody to feel excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know that this photographic world is not for everybody. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. My moment in the camera eye and I wish I could go talk to Mr. Jefferson about what's going on but I can't photo excuse me Mr. Jefferson can I talk to you for a moment yes excuse you no Victoria excuse us I'd never let one of photography's I'm on top of it 
I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Because Max wants everybody to see how hip she is. That girl is going to get shot unless you go. See you. You should take a seat. Yo, Daniel. You remember that it's payday? <laughs> yeah, payday. You can't help me at all, Logan. I forgot for what. On, Daniel is getting sure bullied all over again. I hope he doesn't remember. Logan, way, seriously, Sorry. leave me alone. You're not the boss of me, bro. I don't even tease. No. You know I don't tease. I hate that science class with those nerds. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Where did you get that? What are you doing? Come don't on, put that thing down! Tell me what to do! I need I a hammer to break it open! people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs! Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. I'm going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Wander around here. Get on outside. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max... Talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girl's room. I know, I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girl's bathroom. So what happened next? Then, 
Then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? a little stressed out. Oh. I just got sick in class. Um, female trouble. Except you're wandering around like a zombie. And do you think that's the first time a student has used that line on me? It's the truth. I felt dizzy in Mr. Jefferson's just class. Just tell me what you're hiding. You can trust me. There's nothing to hide. I got sick. It happens, you know. There's that team toot again. You know, I've, I've heard enough. Don't think I don't know what goes on around here. You've only been here for three weeks, and you're already causing conflict. I don't think your parents will approve when they find out. Now get outside with class. Please. No, he does not buy that at all. I may have just flushed my scholarship down the toilet. Yes, I could rewind and actually tell him the truth. Hey, Hayden. There she is, the retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. He seems genuinely unstable to me. Nate has his extreme moments, but don't we all? I don't know yet, Hayden. What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in. And it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do, but you should actually come hang with us one night, then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. You mean hang with a Vortex Club? That sounds like a setup to a horrible prank. Chillax, paranoia girl. We're not that desperate for fun. We know how to do that on our own. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy like, you know. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh yeah, and she was hot. Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. I'm more confused than before. It's such a mystery. Let's talk later, Hayden. That it is, Max. Now, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? 
I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny, Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Hi, Brooke. What? I'd love to... This is... A weapon, right? Uh, you read too many con... Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Is that really yours? Is that even legal? Of course. Nobody knows about it yet. Isn't it considered a weapon of war? Uh, you read too many cons... Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. Hi, Brooke. Let me get... I'd love to. This is... A weapon. Uh, you... What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Sorry, Max. I have to focus on making sure this drone doesn't crash. What a complicated name for such a tiny drone. Hi, Brooke. That looks like a high fly drone. Model B400 EVO. Now that's a nice piece of tech. You're full of surprises. Why would you know that? I love aerial photography. Drones are perfect for that, especially those with great range. It's a new era of images. Most impressive, Max. Warren said you were multifaceted. Here, give the drone a whirl around campus. <laughs> 